The second type of ionic bond we can create is between a transition metal and a nonmetal. Our transition metal is going to be our cation, and our nonmetals are anion. Transition metals are a little different than regular metals because we have Roman numerals that tell us what our charge is. So, for example, we can have copper 2 ion. And this tells us that we have copper and it has a plus 2 charge. If copper has a plus 2 charge, that means it had two valence electrons that it wants to get rid of. So our Lewis dot structure of copper plus 2 is our copper with two electrons on it. So if I have a reaction between copper 2 and chlorine, All right, my copper 2 is an ion, so that's Cu plus 2. And chlorine as an ion, chlorine's a halogen, so it has 7 valence electrons. It wants to gain one more, so that means it's going to have a charge of negative 1. So I have my copper, my chlorine. Step 1 to figure out what kind of ionic compound it's going to make. I draw my Lewis structure for my cation. Two valence electrons, because those are the two electrons it wants to lose. And then I draw my Lewis structure for chlorine. Now it wants to gain one more valence electron, so that tells me that it has seven valence electrons to begin with. So now my chlorine has one empty spot. My copper takes one ion or one electron, puts it in that spot. Now I have one valence electron yet for copper that needs a home. So that means I need to add another chlorine. And I draw its Lewis structure again. Again, it's missing one electron. So my second electron for my copper is going to move there. Now I write down and report how many coppers and chlorines I needed. I have one copper, so I just write copper. And I have two chlorines, so I write Cl2. So to name my copper with my two chlorines, I have my cation, which is copper, and it's a transition metal, so I need to record my Roman numerals, two, and then I write my anion, chloride, because chlor, this is the stem, and then I add my IDE ending, because it's an ion, so I have copper, two, chloride.